Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back. In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at a little Java game that I've been working on. So this is a text-based RPG game, and if you don't know what a text-based game is, it's practically where it uses words instead of pictures for the graphics. Now, it's not completely just words. There are some graphics, as you can see on the right here, but I'm going to be showing them later on, later on in this video. So this game is inspired from Minecraft, and what I mean by that is I've taken some of the elements from Minecraft, one being crafting, because I thought crafting would be a um, a really good idea to add to like practically any game, because it allows you to obtain um, different items from having um, some items already. So that's one thing I really wanted to add in. Um, there are some other stuff that I've added in, um, one being inspired mobs so we've got cows we've got sheep we've got pigs i want to add um some other uh, some other animals but i'm not sure, really all sure because um those animals are practically all the um kind of like um basic animals there aren't any like other ones that you might be thinking hey that's a pretty weird animal maybe i'll add in like a kangaroo that would be pretty cool because i'm australian um but anyway let's go ahead and we'll start off so the name of this game first of all is TextCraft. Now this is not the uh, final name. I'm probably going to completely change this just because um, this is a name I came up with like in two seconds just because it was inspired from Minecraft and I thought text-based inspired from Minecraft will do TextCraft. It's going to change. So it says welcome to TextCraft. TextCraft is a text-based game inspired from Minecraft. There is no aim for the game at the moment. Um, you can begin the game now. Type help for a list of options. Now, there is no aim, but I want to get you guys to help me with the story for this so there is an aim. So if you guys are really good at story making, um, let me know in the comments um, a good story that I could actually do for this game. Now, I don't want it to be anything with defeating a dragon, uh, but I do want a boss fight at the end. So if you guys could create a good story and possibly a good dialogue as well, that would be great. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll type help and this will um, print out a list of the available um, op actions that we can do. So we can punch a tree, we can mine, we can gather food, we can hunt for animals, we can craft an item, we can eat an item, we can see what's in our inventory, we can print out the time which I think is broken just because we've actually got it down here now and we've also got exit. Um, on this right side here, we've got a scroll and we've got a uh, background image, and this is where mobs will be displayed. I'll show you how it works later on. We've got our hit points, and then on this bottom right, we've got our time. So let's go through the list, and we'll start with punching a tree. So this gets a... Oh, no such thing as punching tree. So if we go ahead and punch tree, we'll get some wood. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to craft a sword. So what we need to do is... um. We need to get two wood to create a stick. So we'll go ahead and write craft stick. And we can see that we've got one stick now. Now, it will actually tell you the materials that you need. So if we go ahead and we go craft sword, um, it says you don't have enough you don't have enough stone, you need two. We've already got one stick, so what we need to do now is we need to go mine, you obtain one stone, mine, you obtain one stone. Now if we go ahead and we write craft sword, we should be able to make it. You obtain one sword. Now if we go ahead and we type in inventory, um, in our inventory we've got one sword and now we used up our one stick and we used, our, used up two of our stones so all we've got left is that sword. Something that you need to do during the daytime is, um, so currently right now it is daytime during the game, as you can see it's 8am. Um, what you need to do is actually gather th gather food because at night um, hostile mobs will come out and they'll actually kill you and you could die quite easily. So you can either type in gather food and I don't think the other one works. The other one is hunt. Um, yeah, no action, hunt. So looks like we've got two bananas. We can go again, gather food. You set out to gather some food. We've got some more bananas. Bananas are good. Right now we can't eat it because we've actually got full hit points. But what we might do is actually go into a battle. Now this currently right now is just a developer command just so I can actually um, get into it. So there we go. We've got our sheepy here and he's got 10 hit points. So 
we got the act we got the options of either attacking or leaving so we're obviously going to attack so attack we deal three damage now because I've got a sword it's actually going to deal more damage now there is going to be in the future um, wielding so you're going to be able to wield um, different types of swords not just like one type because currently right now there is only one type so you might create a, a copper sword a diamond sword or like an iron sword or something like that they're going to do different damage types and you're probably going to need a strong sword for the boss fight at the end so we killed the sheep and we obtained one wool so if you go inventory you'll see that we've got wool one now sword one and banana three now we're going to head to night time and i want to show you a battle with a hostile mob and they actually attack back so this is when you're going to actually need um, some food we actually might uh, get some before we actually go into battle now uh, one thing I haven't mentioned uh, yet is that every action will add half an hour to the time so right now it's 1030 if we gather some food it's gone to 11 now so uh, it looks like we set out to gather some food unfortunately you come back with none that's that's just some chance there and we got more bananas mushrooms we got strawberry there are a lot of crafting recipes, but I'm not going to go through them right now. I probably will plan to make some sort of like um, list of them with images on how to, or probably a list of them on how to craft and what you need. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll go to time. We'll go to night time now. Again, this is just a developer command. Won't be in the actual game. And as you can see. Uh, the image over here has actually changed to a moon and it's darkened, uh, which gives the uh, idea that it is night time. I plan to make it so the um, the sun and the moon actually move depending on the time, which I thought would be a cool idea. So we've got our, um, well, well, it's night time now. If we go battle, and we can actually get into a battle with a hostile mob. Now, battles will actually occur randomly on like um, say like you went out to go cut a tree you might stumble upon um, a sheep or something while cutting the tree you can also stumble upon hostile mobs and it's more um, common at night time so if you if it was night time and you go to get some wood um, there's more chance that you'll run into a hostile mob so a zombie has appeared oh no and he's got 20 hit points now so the options we have are either attack, eat or run now we'll go attack oh god he's gonna kill me Ooh, attack ah. I actually gotta fix that up a little bit as you guys can see um, seem to be having um, messages coming before or coming delayed after the um, attacks been oh god it looks like we're actually not gonna win this one. Oh, that was good. And this is kind of where you actually need to have a sword because the um, hostile mobs are quite strong. It's kind of a thing you want to um, start um, making uh, first when you, on the first day. He's pretty strong, this guy. Oh, come on, we can deal. We can we can kill him. We might just go eat banana if we got one. Eat banana, there we go, and then we'll go attack, boom, easy. Now, um, the first night is going to be survival, so um, in the like in the future you're going to be able to like make a house, make a bed, but for the first night you're actually going to need to create a sword, get some food, and um, that's practically it. You want you might want to collect wood as well because you're going to need wood to create a house and then later on create a bed. Now, to create a bed, it's actually going to require you to have a house because even if you had a bed in the middle of nowhere, the mobs can still get you. Now, there might be dreams as well. That might be a cool idea, having like dreams. So you go to sleep and then maybe you're in the dream and there's like some weird mobs and you've got to like kill them. Um, and then you wake up and it's just like, um, I don't know, 3 p.m. Like you went to sleep for like 15 hours or something like that. That would be really cool to add in um, so that is practically it so far we'll just type help one more time just to make sure um, so yeah crafting there are a lot of stuff I've added in eating uh, so we eat more bananas 
eat more banana. Eat more banana. Yummy banana. Um, inventory again, just prints out your inventory. So we've got a we've got a decent amount of stuff in there. And then exit will exit you out of the game. Oh, no such action. Exit. What the hell? Well, you can press this uh, cross up the mark there. I'll have to fix that up. So that is practically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Tell me what you think about this game. Um, there are going to be more videos updating you guys on new progress, so you make sure you watch out for them. Um, tell me if you're keen to actually download this game. And again, if you have any ideas for stories and dialogues and all that stuff, um, maybe uh, write it up in so, some sort of Word document and then send me like the link to it, which, which would be really cool. And I would also mention you in the credits for coming up with the story or something like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to